Hello everybody, it's a rainy Saturday here in Maryland and yesterday I went um, shopping with my husband who is actually at a baseball card show and it was a Tuesday morning um, that I have never been to and so I went in and I did find some things that um, I actually have been wanting and found them there. So this one is the Word Designer Clips from Illustrated Faith. So I picked up a packet of those. And I saw these cute, it says uh, DIY Craft Medium Tassels. And they're like a pastel colors for $1.99. I don't have any tassels, so it's my first bunch of those. And then I saw this Doris embossing folder, and I love the nautical theme, and got that. And then they had pretty much a lot of the uh, Diana Wake Dina Wakeley's um, studio stamps, but this was the only one that really caught my eye, and there's the picture of the stamp and the stencil. So you can see... There's the stencil there, Ooh, without the glare. And one other thing that I found, um, I usually always look for napkins, but I was looking for something that was funny. And this was, um, I thought this was adorable. It says, fun in the sun, and it's these three little kitties. Aren't those cute? There's the last pack, too. So I picked those up. And then right next door to the baseball card show, was a Joanne. So I went in there and I really didn't find anything, but their um, Tim Holtz stuff was 40% off. So I think this is regularly like $6.99. So I, I picked up this um, tin for my um, little mini uh, stamp pads that I've gotten from Ranger. And uh, so I picked that up. And then the very last thing was I'm out of red cardstock, burgundy cardstock pink cardstock and these actually have all those colors so I picked those up they had them on sale for um, $2.50 which you know to me I think that's the normal price I would pay anyway they're um, 65 pound 50 sheets so I'm good on red black pink white <laughs> cardstock for a while um, and that was all the shopping that I have done but I did make something today. I have a friend's birthday that's coming up. And I have the Lori Whitlock, um, it's Cricut's All Occasion cart cartridge. And I have never made a pop-up card. So I got a pop-up card made today. <laughs> and it was super easy. Of course, I watched her video first. That helped. But one of the things that I must say, she said, you know, it just depends on the person. But... Um, before I glued on these things, I wish I had glued the insert into the box first because what happened was I had glued them on the wrong side. So I had to cut out some more balloons, which was all right. But um, yeah, so recommendation is when you do a pop-up, don't put the things on your little embellishments on the pop-up parts until after you get it glued in the box. That way you know which direction, unless you're dire not directionally challenged like I was. But um, it's for a friend's birthday, and I had just various um, birthday stamps that um, I used to decorate the card. And next time, I will know that pattern papers I can pick out and stuff like that. But I really did a very plain card, but I thought it turned out rather cute. And even made the envelope, made the envelope to go with it. So um, I found there was a Pinterest post of the sizes that you can make for these all occasion carts, cartridge from the car, from that cartridge, and this was cut at eleven and three eighths. So um, that's how I got. Did I say three eighths? Eleven point three eight. How about that? Um, uh, that's how that size. And basically, it just folds up like that and fits into your envelope. Isn't that cute? I love them. So anyway, now that I know how simple they are, I mean, it just requires, you know, finding the papers you need to cut and cutting them out. And uh, a lot of cute designs on that particular cartridge. So I definitely will be using that again. So that's it for me today. Have a good day. Um, today, like I said, hopefully it's not raining where you are and just enjoy your weekend. Bye.